There is a hidden cost to owning this entire fleet of cars that I don't even want to quantify or calculate, and that is depreciation. So we're not going to really cover that in this video. However, that is definitely the largest expense, and it is well over a million dollars that I lose just from owning and driving this. Because here at the Hamilton Collection, Hamilton Collection? Here at the Hamilton Collection, sorry, my last name is hard to remember. Here at the Hamilton Collection, we are all about sharing our so vehicles. Dumb. In fact, we have put 60,000 fucking miles on this entire fleet in the last year alone. Mm -hmm. And so that is gonna get us into the maintenance costs of this, which are gonna shock. I legitimately don't know what it is, and I told him not to tell me so I can genuinely see what it is. Tommy spent the last several weeks calling every shop. It was a lot. Oh yeah, it's been God. a lot of like work. That's how you helped me with the gas. The gas was less yes. than I expected. Oh. The maintenance was a lot more. Speaking of gas. That's enough. <laughs> All right, that's my cue. Hello? Huh? What's up? You have my attention, my guy. Very nice. We have a... a Dedicated follower dropping off you a see, gift. You hey, if it. you guys want to drop off a gift, 2112 Ferry Road, Naperville, Illinois, 60563. This is the expense that I don't want to know because when I know it, I start thinking about it as I spend throughout the year. So maybe this is a bad idea for a vlog. The Chevelle actually wasn't that bad to maintain this year. A um, couple like routine maintenance mm -hmm. and then we need the headliner replaced recently. Yep. This year came up to 3,348 okay. in the past calendar year. So That's not my that oldest, bad. oldest, amazing. It's 3,000 bucks for a Chevelle and it's the oldest car. I used to have just old cars. Like I had a Nova, a Cuda, the Chevelle, an old IROC. And I thought that those cars broke down a lot and were expensive to maintain. So I started transitioning to super and hyper cars. Well, let me tell you what, super and hyper cars break down probably more often and yeah. they're way more expensive to fix so oh well we're See, gonna get some more classic cars you said more on um we oh, put shoot. 629 miles on this car this year all right for wow reference. that's it 629 right. miles over a little over three thousand bucks cool yes, what is the next one thomas cadillac fleetwood broham limo this bet oh it left today mother effer we had it an hour ago that car was forty thousand dollars <laughs> this year did you count not, the accident not including oh wait just kidding yes that's including everything forty thousand okay. dollars the car had a front end collision pick here uh, yeah. How much was the collision? Did you log? Uh, yeah, the collision was thirteen thousand three hundred ten dollars. So let let my brother. This is another car that you may not know that also got wrecked this year, um, but did have some extensive damages. That is my baby. Top three cars is my Cadillac limo. That was roughly what ten twelve thousand dollars if I recall correctly. The front end. Yeah, thirteen thousand three hundred ten. And then the LS engine swap. That is twenty grand. Almost that, exactly. that was supposed to take a month is on month three and a half right now still incomplete yep and then um, we had all the sounds plus wiring done and oh yeah there was a bunch of electronics that had to get redone so on that car a little so over forty thousand dollars forty thousand forty thousand three dollars for my twenty thousand dollar car the porsche 918 could have been a lot worse this year the battery had to be replaced the hybrid battery um those are upwards of seventy thousand dollars yes and uh kevin who's in service at uh, napleton porsche he actually hooked steve up um this the Warranty in the car expired in April. Yep. He honored the warranty a few months after it expired. We got the whole battery said and done with installation for seventeen thousand eight hundred thirty-six dollars. Yes, but he hooked could us have been up. seventy grand. But he also hooked us up with the deal where we took the car to the car show and ended up being like five grand, right? Uh, yeah. No, he was All a right. homie. Yeah, so, it was cheap. Yeah. We, we sent the car to a car show in Chicago and it was a third of that price. Thank He's, you, Kevin. Kevin's the man. Shout out to Kevin. Um, <laughs> Hotchman fabrication exhaust was sixteen. It's grand. not Hotchman, you idiot. It's Hockman. <laughs> I know. Hockman was, was 16 grand. So Hockman is my favorite shop right now of all grand, the shops yeah, with. Ben's awesome, dude. If you he need is. any fabrication work, Ben's the man. Mm -hmm. um, this car in total was $34,073 this year. We drove this car 2,690 miles. Okay. And when did you buy Whoa, it? Oh, it's been, yeah, right about a year ago. Yeah. So the 34, so the exhaust was like 15, you said, right? 16.2. Yeah. 16.2 for the straight pipe exhaust. Check out the other vlog for that. It's it's done really well because it's a really awesome system that's extremely loud. So we got our 2015 Chevy 2500 HD that is the CO2 truck as most of y'all know it. By the way, I got this truck for just $15,000 off of my partner at Custom Offsets and uh, that is a really good deal. Really freaking good deal. How much did I have to pay to get this thing fixed? Only $1,000 or $1,100. So it was $1,113.38. Uh, routine maintenance and a headlight. That's it. Wow. Ben. That's a good deal. Trusty Steve. We put 3,770 miles in this car. We, this we year. transported some cars up to Minnesota for a car show, and this is like our trailer hauler in addition to the Escalade. Yeah, this, is, <sighs> this and the M5 are the beaters. We, we put a lot of miles in these cars all the time. The beaters. Drive them hard. I love a beater. I don't even know her. I'm excited for the total. It's it's because I know there's some vehicles that had very high expenses. We'll jump to the Ghost. Rolls Race Ghost grand total was 3,606. This car did uh, 6,300 miles this year. Let's jump to... 765 LT? Yeah, we might as well. All right. 765, this car was pretty expensive because we did the tune and exhaust and all that good stuff. This car hasn't done an annual maintenance yet. Um, it's still new, so it hasn't needed it, but the full build was 28,712.24. 
Oof. So yeah, this All car right. went from zero, essentially zero miles to 3,974. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, hit the subscribe button right. right su just subscribe, do it. The most expensive oh, single builds of the oh, whole I year. Oh, I forgot about this. I'm like 300 grand. This thing alone was over 215. 200. Yeah. Oof. Mr. That was so $215,000 for the GTR. Yeah, 17. It is for sale. $250,000 takes this. It has like 2,500 miles, brand new, fresh build. I haven't actually had the chance to abuse this. So Did you it say is 15 actually. or 50? 250. Okay. okay. The Let's, build was 215. I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Let's go. This car. For how expensive this car is, it really, really wasn't that bad to maintain this year. It had one annual maintenance that was 11,469. 69. Not, not too bad. Mm. Uh, we did 2,656 miles in this car this year. Spent, spent a few months in Dallas. It did. Came back with a dead battery. We'll jump over to the M5 <laughs> really quick. This um, is the brand new THC crew car. <laughs> Gave car, them a budget. They Mind you, shush. Mind <laughs> you, this car was 20 grand. <laughs> we spent $4,000 on it already. Uh, $4,176 in the first two months of ownership. American dollars, correct? Those are pesos. Oh, yeah. pesos. This, is, this whole vlog's in pesos. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yes, American dollars. Ford GT, super cheap, $782. What? Oil change, that's it. That's all the cars need. That's Ford quality there, guys. $700 worth of repairs over the course of a year. How many miles were put on it? Oh, good job, Tommy. Um, 963. Here. Honorable mention, the Ferrari Testarossa, Zero dollars, because we just got it. Just we got it, and it is meticulous. Put like 500 miles on it. Meticulous. Um, very meticulous. Um, How about the Countach? It's right next to it. So this car is a little complicated. This year, we spent $23,523 on it. Oh, for clutch work. A clutch rebuild. The previous year, you spent over well 100. over $100,000 yeah. on it. This car is extremely expensive to maintain, because they don't really make parts for them anymore. Even back in 70s and 80s when they made the car, um, they kind of threw it together with whatever they had available to them at the time. There's Weird. no like parts that are you can easily order. So they were out. Super. They were screwing the spoilers on like outside of the factory in the parking lot. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, doesn't make sense. So no. 23 grand on this, which is crazy. Pr yes. The year prior, it was five times that. You said is... that was like some clutch work and then maintenance, right? Yeah. Okay. We will jump right into the Audi R8, just like I'll be jumping into Steve's mom tonight. Um, the R8 was thirteen thousand three hundred and eighty-one dollars. I want to make you a brother. I'm going to mm, be Steve's you daddy. Should. This you way. should. Um, 13,381. And that was recent because that. That's the, yeah, that's Natalia the broke the clutch. Yes, and Natalia breaks a lot. A lot she of this does. is Natalia. She does. That wasn't her fault. But that who, car was, just, who was driving it when it happened? It was Natalia. Well, then it was her fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it out of her paycheck. Bugatti Chiron? Punani. Zero dollars. You got tires, but I'll add that later on. Yep. Um, we Wheels did do a whole there. video about how expensive this car is to maintain after it's out of its warranty. <clears> Currently, <throat> it's still under warranty. It had its four-year major, which is a $38,000 service that Steve would have to pay out of pocket, but that's included with the purchase of the car. So yeah, and there is going to be a twenty to thirty thousand dollar exhaust system, but that's getting pushed into next year. Not, it already is ordered. Obviously, and not including devaluation. He bought this car with four hundred miles. It has nearly nine thousand now. Over nine thousand now. That's pro oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah nine thousand yeah. this week. That's probably. Four hundred thousand dollars yes. in valuation. That Ins alone, yes. Insane. Nuts. Ferrari four hundred eighty-eight GTB. Four hundred eighty-eight GTB. Five thousand uh, two hundred eleven. We drove this car fourteen hundred miles this year. Consistent um, smoking issues uh, and remedy of that. Yeah, it's it's rough. La Ferrari. It had an oil seal issue. It was leaking oil. I think we yep. still drove it a little bit. Yep. Um, but then we sent it to the shop. Sixty-four thousand dollars, including the warranty, the, the new warranty yeah. that Steve has. So we have a two-year warranty on this car. That was like twenty-seven thousand. So Which, a forty thousand dollar just for some oil yeah. seepage. But but roughly thirty thousand dollars for a two-year bumper-to-bumper warranty on the powertrain. That that for is a the $3 best million mang, dollar car. For a three million dollar car is the best mang for a buck, I yeah. think, out of any because the Bugatti one is two hundred thousand dollars. That's full maintenance in four years. Yeah. But it's still two hundred thousand dollars for that car. Insane. So we put Insane. two thousand miles in this car this year. Uh, okay. very, very fun miles. GD3 RS. Uh, this car was $9,321 this year. We did uh, 2,300 miles on it. Um, $9,321? Yeah, that had a big uh, four-year maintenance as well from Napleton. Okay. So it should be good. Usually it's like 1300 That was $1, how much bucks. just the maintenance was? Maintenance, and then we had the little clamps replaced in the back. That was 600 bucks. It, yeah, the, the, the exhaust is so loud and vibrates so much that it breaks the clamps. Although it breaks the clamps every six months. This is the longest they've gone without breaking. They reinforced everything. It's crazy. They welded yes. everything down okay. this time, but the it factory clamps can't handle how loud and how much this exhaust vibrates. The Resvani has been in the shop for about three months. Prior to that, it was in the shop for like five months. We had bits and pieces of it. Maybe we've had it a total of a month since I bought it a year ago. That one I know has been, oh God. Yeah. I don't 
That one I know has been expensive. It's in the shop right now, but it'll be back in a matter of days. We're just waiting on the last 1% to get done, and I am so thrilled to get that thing back. It'll be fun. And it's wrapped, too. The wrap is so cool. How much? 52,122. That was with Evans. That was with Attitude yep. Performance. Attitude was uh, ten thousand nine hundred. Yeah. Satera was, was twenty three thousand. Oof. Uh, Ogden was four thousand. <clears> oh, that's <throat> not including the cost been... of the motor. How oh, much was shit. the motor? The motor was right around twenty two thousand dollars. Was it really? We'll add that at the end. We're gonna give a ballpark number that's plus or minus. You know, five or ten thousand dollars. The mean Yours. green Steve Hall machine, twenty twenty two Lamborghini Urus. I've put seven thousand miles in this thing with all the have. other cars that I have. Yeah, zero dollars. It's one warranty. I really, Not a yeah. Dime. Um, just the wheels. You got an exhaust, but that wasn't baked into the price of. Did the we have car. to pay for the stinkiness when when it came back from Perillo and it was smelly? I mean, de I added in details later. Oh yeah, okay, all right, yeah, I details have washes and washes. details later. So that's cool. that'll be a later expense. Cadillac Escalade was zero dollars. Z Escalade zero dollars, good. Yes. The cars under warranty, good thing. Yes. And I think we're, we're definitely shifting to more. We're definitely shifting to more brand new vehicles where Absolutely. at one point the fleet was all used and now the last two years we've had a lot of brand new vehicles. So. For sure. McLaren P1 is probably the second most expensive of all of them, right? $52,009. Okay, and that just had a major, and the That's bad part- not including the battery. The bad part of that is it needs about $125,000 service, but we're waiting on the replacement battery to come in. It's I've, the battery from the speed tail. I kind of slight the P1 in my, my past videos, but I don't think we've ever had it at 100%. So I'm, I'm kind of pausing on on the hate with that vehicle because it may actually be really special once the hybrid drive system is fixed. I'm, I'm going through to make sure you covered all the vehicles. I'm seeing several vehicles we've sold throughout the year, so the, well, the expense is really- included. All right, so give me the, give me the, does this grand so, total include the wheels, tires, and then the washing no, and detailing no, gas? No, this grand total right. is just maintenances and service over $1,000. That's it. Do you have the total of the gas? I do. Well, give me the gas total. Gas was, drum roll please, Six thousand seven hundred and forty-five. Really not low. bad. That seems low. Yeah. All right. So wheels and tires, roughly. Yeah, about forty-two thousand dollars with everything. That seems about right. And yep. unfortunately, that's at my cost. So, really, if you went and retail bought those, it'd be, it'd be an, an amount more. Yeah. What else? Um, Detailing. P and PPF washes. and wraps. Oh, PPF and wraps. About forty grand as well. Those are thirty-eight thousand for everything. We went over total miles, which was sixty-one thousand. Insurance twenty-seven thousand eight hundred for the year. Actually, Please. not that bad when you think about the yeah, value that's of the collection. A, I hope Country Financial does not drop me. They've been a great insurance partner for me. A great insurance partner. We love Country. I hope that they keep me on the policy um, and just know that I'm going to be much more cautious. Oh, I know I'm not going to do more Country. Country. And they just, they just know that, you know, we're, we're good customers <laughs> and we're going to keep being good customers. We're going to keep paying them $27,800 a yes. year. What else? Washes and details, we're on $15,000 a year for full okay. details, yeah. washes. Yep. Uh, ceramic coats, all like this stuff. So Tommy spent the last seven minutes calculating all of this because we had to add some things along the way that we realized uh, that were expenses. Tommy, what it's, is the total? It's <laughs> 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 all right, anyway. Uh, yeah, so the total What's is- What's the total, my guy? 700. I just want to be taller, like you. 45,835. I need seven hundred forty-five thousand, not including oh cars gosh, we sold, dude. not including devaluation, and not including any expense under a thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! So realistically, yeah. it's eight hundred k plus because there are a Easily. lot of little. Easily. That is a shocking, shocking yeah. value, far money. in excess of what I think I told you that it was. I said yeah. three hundred grand. Yeah. Way more than three hundred k. Um, interesting. I want to note we sold the C8. The SLS, the Safari, the Plaid, oh, the Aventador, the Cuda, the Mustang, and the Defender this year. Did you include all expenses of those from needed? those? No. All oh of those had expenses gosh. as well. It was probably close to a million. It was probably. So realistically, it was probably close to a million dollars yeah. in, in expenses. Yeah. And then well over a million in depreciation. And that's, then we got a discount in the battery. That's not including yes. the P1 battery. It's not including the $100,000 yep. Kutosh. Yes. There's a lot that goes into maintaining this crap. It is insane. Well, I have learned today that it is really f***ing expensive to maintain a entire car collection, but that kind of comes that kind of comes with the the realm of I'm still standing. Can I have it yeah, back? No. Yeah, you got it, bro. <laughs> Oops, it's all f***ed up now. Add, uh, Oops. Add, add two more thousand dollars to that total. But anyway, thanks for uh, sticking along with us on this journey. I think that I am a little shocked and I will have to be thinking more closely as we spend money. It's not gonna stop me. I'm still gonna go by, have fun with my And cars. the nice thing is you have 15 more cars to pay for in the next two or Oof. three years that are on but the way. But a lot of them are gonna be new. That's true. Yes. The so, EV110 will be a boo-boo. That car's that, gonna be. Oh yeah. 
Bugatti EB110, we found out that Bugatti does not stock parts. You have to go through some company that bought all their parts in the 90s. That almost makes wow. me want it more. Anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button, baby girls. Thank you.